Hi guys, just going to do a quick disassembly video. Uh, it's a hair dryer. There's actually nothing wrong with this one. I just happen to have quite a few of these old ones knocking about. Um, collected them specifically to take them apart for the parts. So I'm going to take it apart. What I'm hoping to do is get an electric motor out of it and maybe even the um, the hot wires that are in there, I say hot wires, the wires that make the heating element, um, might be able to use them for a hot wire phone cutter. don't know, but I'm hoping. Okay, first thing we've got is a nice fan blade there. That's something I want to use. Okay, so we've got a power cord and some electrics. Let's see how that comes apart. Yeah, some sort of retaining plastic ring there. That wasn't good. Didn't mean to break that. So Electric motor, wire, fan that I've broken. I'm quite disappointed about that. That was one of the main reasons for taking it apart, was I wanted the fan blade. And that's not going to come off easily anyway. Three position switch. Thermal cutout. And, yes, as I say, that's the wire. I shall unwind that and see if I can use it for a hot wire um, tool. Well, I'm really annoyed about that, breaking that. I shan't swear. But uh, I should have to take another one apart now. The motor, I'm guessing, is going to be something like a 12 volt motor. Um, on the basis of... That's what I've been told in the past. The, um, the main voltage drop is across this stuff. And what's left is just fed into the motor. I wonder if I can pop that out. None of this wants to come out easily. Must be too good a quality. Come on. That's better. written on it, or at least not on the bits I can see. So, works fine with a 9 volt motor. So apart from the fact I've messed up the primary purpose of me taking this apart, breaking that fan blade. Um, we've got what I want. Right, there we are, stripped down to its basic components. Plastic case. Power cable. A plastic rocker that operates the two position switch or three position switch, off position one and position two. Those are actually the metal brackets that were holding the motor 
and the heating element in position. Electric motor. Um, I've had a good look at it. There's nothing actually written on it telling you what the voltage, what the rated voltage is, but it works fine on a 9 volt battery. So uh, it's at least 9 volts. <laughs> Um, as I understand it, it's it's a 240 volt hair dryer, and they use the volt drop across the heating elements to drop the voltage to a sufficient level to actually run the motor. So, don't know what what value it is, but that's how they have a nice small motor inside something that's running off 250 volts. Uh, we've got a couple of diodes on here to actually change it from AC to DC to actually run the motor on it. And as I said, the purpose of me taking this one apart is I want to salvage that wire and see if I can use it on a hot wire foam cutter. I want the electric motor and I want this fan blade which, as you saw, I just broke when I took it apart. I've just glued it back together to see if that will work. Um, no idea, and the glue will take a little while to dry properly, so I'll leave that overnight and then try it out. And a couple of screws. And that's it. Hair dryer disassembled and actually got a plan to use some of the parts.